Hey, what's up, guys? Randall from Odds Jam here with you for week 11 of the CFL. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a video, so going to uh, try to get back into the groove, try to do at least a video a week if I can with uh, NFL approaching. CFL is about midway through the year, 17-7 um, and seven this year um, on CFL picks. You can find all of those. Um, under the news area on CFL. But today going to talk about two plays uh, that I really like this week uh, and kind of go into why I like them. Um, the first game uh, here, BC Lions at Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Uh, we can take a look at this game. And, you know, in this game, if we look at the numbers here, uh, Saskatchewan is plus three and a half on Bet MGM. Every other book has Saskatchewan plus three. Uh, there is uh, a, a rogue number out there with Saskatchewan plus four and a half on Bet Online. Uh, I actually just sent a text to my buddy, told him to get that in. Um, I like Saskatchewan here plus the three and a half. You can see here we're getting a half a point of value. Uh, Pinnacle, sharpest book in the world. Uh, has this minus 109 on BC, minus three, minus 105 on Saskatchewan, plus three. Uh, my power ratings for this game uh, make it a pick em. So a lot of value here, uh, in my opinion, on Saskatchewan. You've got BC playing a back-to-back -back, uh, road game, which is always tough. Um, you know, Nathan Rourke, quarterback for the Lions, has looked incredible this year. Um, last week, comeback win against Calgary. On the road, uh, they were down um, anywhere from 13 to 18, basically that entire game. Uh, came back, Lucky Whitehead caught a pass uh, to set them up for a game-winning field goal. So uh, this week, I do like Saskatchewan plus the three and a half. I do think there is some value on the money line. Um, however, you know, Pinnacle plus 139 on the money line. Uh, there, there's not a better number out there, so... You know, in regards to, to EV, uh, there's definitely not an EV bet on Saskatchewan on the money line. Uh, but I do like them uh, to win this game. Again, you know, Nathan Rort, he's a rookie. Um, so th this is, I believe, his third road game this year. Um, so it, it's, you know, it's something that he's not, not used to. Uh, and Saskatchewan is definitely a tough place to play. Uh, they beat the Elks last week. Uh, and I think that that this team, I mean, this team started out 4-0, started out red hot, um, lost four straight. Uh, and so I think that that they can can get things going this game uh, against the BC Lions. In the second game, uh, Calgary versus Toronto. Um, key thing here in this game, the Argos are going to be without Andrew Harris. Looks like he's going to have to have some surgery. Um so he is going to be out for this game. Um, that is a huge blow uh, to the Argos. Actually, before I, I came on here to do this recording, I picked up Calgary minus 130 on FanDuel. You can see that's now minus 140. Um, my power ratings had this line right at two and a half, which is exactly what it is. Um, so, so I ended up taking the Stampeders on the money line minus 130. Um, I still like it. Uh, the best number you can get looks to be minus 140 uh, if you're not able to bet on Pinnacle, obviously. So minus 140 on Caesars, minus 140 on DraftKings. I do suspect that this will move, um, especially, like I said, with Andrew Harris not playing. Uh, Argos lost last week in Hamilton um, on the road. So this is a big game for the Stampeders. Uh, Bo Levi Mitchell called out the entire team. Uh, after the loss last week, was not happy, very disappointed. Uh, Kadeem Carey should be back, should should get a big a big dose of the run game this week against the Argos, uh, and I think that the Stampeders get it done. So two plays this week, uh, Stampeders on the money line, got that minus 130 at FanDuel, and that's minus 140 now, and then Saskatchewan, on the point spread, plus three and a half at MGM. Looks like you can actually now get that um, at Caesars as well. Uh, just looking at this as this is updated, uh, it looks like that may actually be moving to four. So if you're watching this video, um, you, you might 
wait a little bit, although these these two are juiced, uh, indicating that it may actually go back to three. But we can see here, Bookmaker and Bet Online, two pretty sharp books, have it four and a half. So uh, be interesting to to see what happens there. But I still like Saskatchewan plus three and a half. Uh, still like Calgary on the money line. So we'll be back next week with a video, probably CFL related, uh, and then we will be getting closer to the NFL. So thanks for uh, watching, guys. Have a great day.